good morning everyone welcome to another case based review um today is some historical case this is a 70 year old male patient presented with in pain with dorsal region that is the reason for dorsal mri has been performed uh, there is no neurological deficits or uh, uh, symptoms but um, mainly dorsal pain so this is a mri t1 weighted images what we could see is a drop or small rounded subcentimetric t1 hyperintensity along the uh, jura maybe touching the jura or anterior to the jura in the subarachnoid space um, without much significant abnormality in the rest of the spine except uh, degenerative changes what could be the possibility for this t1 hyperintensity so when we are dealing with t1 hyperintensity we need to think a few differential diagnosis like melanin uh, which could be like a melanosis of the meninges which can come present in the similar way but it is unlikely to have a single drop rather the, rather it is a diffuse entity a lipoma lipoma of the jura or uh, some it cannot be floating into the uh, subarachnoid space it has to be attached to one of the structures so too small to characterize and hemorrhages any subarachnoid hemorrhage in the spine or brain extension from the brain can look like this or a ruptured dermoid cyst with dissemination of the fat droplets into the subarachnoid space can present in the uh, similar manner so among this we can do a fat saturated sequence and uh, see whether it is getting suppressed in case of lipoma and uh, dermoid cyst they should get suppressed if it is not suppressed then it should be a protein or melanin or hemorrhage a protein also can look t1 bright in similar way uh, we have done a fat saturated sequence which is not getting suppressed in that so what next we need to do to differentiate this uh, uh, to characterize uh, this particular lesion so instead of uh, going for further we have taken simply an a radiograph because patient has given some history of the spinal procedure the way he described we thought he has undergone a myelography uh, two decades before um somewhere in the western world so we have seen this uh, uh, bright objects equivalent place at least two radio opaque very dense objects so which is matching to this so in consideration with t1 hyperintensity previous uh, spinal procedure most likely myelography and this radio opaque densities what could be the most likely possibility anybody can guess so this is uh, nothing but uh, the highly contrast media which has been injected uh, which is myodel most commonly um, uh, and which has retained years later it can be seen this is a main side effect or problem with this contrast media they are organic they are oily they contain iodine uh, they 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 can be aspirated after the procedure but you, it may not be complete all the time so it might lead to a problem and stay long term within the spinal canal so there are many highly contrast media in the time it used to they used to do myelography um this is the actual the myodil is a brand name the actual technical name is iodo phenylindelic indicyclic acid it's difficult to pronounce even a pantopec is um, another trade name for the same now it is pretty much similar to what uh, the uh, liver uh, radiologists are using lipoidal for diagnostic and interventional procedures the reason it has discontinued is mainly it can lead to arachidonitis uh, due to irritation so if you see any radio opaque uh, shadows in this uh, region in future you might not see because it has been discontinued in 80s um, because of these same side effects so very old people if you see then you can diagnose this one in future you might not uh, see this particular lesion thank you very much